Hello students, today I am going to explain you the third poem of Honeycomb. The name of the poem is The Shed. This poem is written by Frank Flynn. About the poet, Frank Flynn was a Northern Territory based Australian doctor, author and missionary priest. He is notable for his contributions to religion, medicine and aboriginal welfare. He wrote this beautiful poem, The Shed. Introductory question for you. Do you know what a shed is? A shed can be a cow shed, a tool shed, a wood shed. For example, it's a small room away from the main house for storing or keeping things, animals, tools, vehicles, etc. The poem is about the shed which is located on the bottom of the poet's garden. The shed was in worst condition, pathetic condition, poor. Whenever the poet passes through it, he feels that somebody is staring at him. His brother also told him that a ghost stays in the shed who hides himself in the floor boards who may jump and attack him. Now let's read the poem. Before starting to read the poem, here I have prepared a vocabulary list for you that is going to help you out to understand the poem in an easy way. The first word is shed. Storehouse, creek, make a sharp sound, hinges means joints, steering, looking through, chop off, you can say cut, peak, look in. Now let us read the poem and I request my students to please read the poem twice at home, seeing yourself in the mirror and reciting the poem loudly. The shed. There is a shed at the bottom of a garden with a spider's web hanging across the door. The hinges are rusty and creak in the wind. When I am in bed, I lie and I listen. I will open that door one day. There's a dusty old window around at the side with three cracked panes of glass. I often think there's someone staring at me each time that I pass. I will peep through that window one day. My brother says there's a ghost in the shed who hides under the rotten floorboards and if I ever dare to set foot inside, he will jump out and chop off my head. But I will take a peek one day. I know that there isn't really a ghost. My brother tells lies to keep the shed for his den. There isn't anyone staring or making strange noises. And the spider has been gone from his web since I don't know when. I will go into that shed one day soon, but not just yet. For better understanding, I am telling you a short summary of this poem. Just pay attention. The motive of the poem seems to make learners know about the shed and its significance. Significance means importance. The rhythm and richness of language is impressive. 
the poet talks about a shed in his garden. The horrific means frightening looks repel him from entering it. Repel him from entering it means stops him because he is afraid. The rusty and dusty windows, broken window panes, spiders web in every corner, scary stories of presence of ghosts have scared the poet. Yet he promises himself to visit the shed in the coming years. There was a shed near the house of the poet. It scared him to tell when he passes by it. The door was covered with hanging spider's webs. The door hinges were rusty because it was weather beaten during the weather season. What happens? The hinges of the doors, the joints of the door becomes rusty. And when you open such doors or windows, they make a creaks, creaking sound. It created a creaky sound while closing or opening of the door. The poet listened to the sound while lying in the bed. Yet the poet decided to open a door to witness everything by himself. He further described that windows were dusty and window panes were. The poet realized that someone stared at him whenever he passes through the shed. He decided to open the gate one day. His brother tried to scare him, frighten him away by telling him that a ghost hides under the rotten floor boards. He would jump off on the head of the poet. Yet the poet did not let his confidence lose. The poet knew that the ghost did not exist in the shed. Rather, his elder brother used the shed as his den, a hiding place for himself. And he don't want to share that hiding place with his brother. That's why he has made him scared of that particular shed. The child realized the truth. So he could not be fooled by his brother anymore. He dared to visit the shed one day. He still waited to realize for the right time to come. Why he still waited? Because really he was afraid to see the shed. So students just pay attention to the important points. The location of the shed is at the bottom of the garden. A spider's web is seen hanging across the door. When the wind blows, the creaking sound of the rusty hinges attracts the poet's attention. The poet is in the relaxed mood as he is now in bed and plans to satisfy his curiosity, the desire to know, to see. What was hidden inside the shed? Whenever the poet passes through the way, he feels that someone is staring at him. But the poet's brother convinces him by saying that a ghost lives in the shed and he may attack on him if he enters the shed. The poet is partially frightened but he does not completely believe his brother and has a plan to look through the broken window one day. So students, this was the poem. I hope you have understood the poem. Now try to write this poem in your fair notebook and solve the exercises given in the book. Thank you. Have a nice day.